the city reported 4,954 new COVID cases. That's around 400 fewer infections than yesterday. However, the percentage of imported cases has been on the rise since the implementation of the zero plus three measure. Chief Executive John Lee reiterated his stance on the city's need to maintain a steady pace with regards to relaxing COVID restrictions. Timothy Lee has more. With the zero plus three measure having been in force for over half a month, Chief Executive John Lee noted that arrivals at the airport have more than doubled compared to September. But the increasing number of arrivals were not a clear indication of the end of Hong Kong's COVID woes. As imported infections now make up 5% of the total number of cases, about double the earlier proportion. Severe cases and deaths also rose compared with the previous week, by 28 and 20 percent respectively. The transmission rate has also seen an increase. Under these conditions, the CE stressed the importance of taking a cautious approach on anti-COVID measures. An orderly approach should be taken so that we take things step by step in resuming activities and further open up with the world. I hope we all understand. I've told you our direction and our objectives, and that is why we should all work together. The city is still in talks with mainland authorities about the implementation of a reverse quarantine measure, which will allow residents to undergo isolation at designated facilities prior to crossing the border. Lee said both the SAR and the central government are working hard to roll out the new measure, but must first solve remaining issues such as a different standard for CT values between the two parties. These things we are working and we're ironing out uh, some areas where we need to adjust. Um, but the closer arrangement, of course, is one area which uh, we have to look at um, realisti realistically as to how we can satisfy. The chief executive also commented on the dubious vaccination exemption certificates suspected to have been issued by the seven arrested private doctors. He said the government will strongly follow up on the incident as it has damaged the city's current anti-COVID system. Timothy Lee, TVB News.